Hello friends, how are you today? I have a really cool video for you. I found what I call a hot spot on the Schumann Resonance chart and I just wanted to show you this video is going to be much more woo woo than my usual videos and look at something that I have seen before in the chart. It's not common, it's rare. I'd say this is only the third time I've seen something like this, third or fourth that in the chart. So I'm so excited to show you what is the meaning of this space that I've highlighted in this chart that I where I have adjusted the lighting to pop the um, the spray of pixels here. Okay, so on this chart with the two light waves, those of you who have been watching the Schumann for a long time noticed this very strange pattern. Look at this. This was a really interesting pattern of these dots. And it almost looked like literally a matrix because see, look how exact, right? If I take that and I go here, see how it's, it's almost the same size. And like this second set is repeating. It's like a test of some sort. It's, it's not exact in size, but it's pretty darn close. Okay, pretty darn close. Now, what happened was my eyes were drawn to this area here with the line on each side. So you see there's a, a vertical line here and a vertical line. And immediately what I saw here was numbers. Now, if I make it a little smaller, you might be able to see, can you see the two and the two? Do you see that there's a curve here at the top, but the two is broken, right? It's broken. And then there's almost like an echo of the pattern. It's really interesting. I felt really drawn to this area and this happens like, it, I don't know if it's intuitive or my subconscious mind is seeing images that sort of where my intuition lets me know there's something here. So the face here um, is, at first I saw a mask. Let me just make it so I can see the face again. See, you see it right there. There's the eye, eye, there's a straight nose and then kind of a mouth. Okay, and then you see that it's highlighted by this box, essentially. Yeah. Okay, that's where I start seeing the mask right there. And at first it was a mask, then it turned it turned into like a, a dog or a wolf, like a, a dog with pointed ears like a wolf has. And then it turned into um, like the guy fox mask. So I wonder if my subconscious mind saw the face, like saw this image, and that's why I zeroed in. So I'm just trying to explain here, and it, it is a woo-woo discussion, meaning that this is pure sort of an intuitive approach. What I did was I popped the phenomena. I focused on trying to highlight the twos. See here, there is your two, and then there's a break in the data, and here's the base of the two. Now the second two, here's the curve, okay? And then the base is over here. There's a two, okay? So it's broken up so that it's not as obvious, right? Because this is, let's assume that this is coming from the subconscious mind of humanity if if we say that their brain waves from zero to 40 hertz and there's 7.7 .7 billion people and we're all emanating these fields, right? Of energy from our brain. And let's say that the human resonance is able to reflect our subconscious. Now, of course, it could also be an intentional code, obviously, but I believe that this has popped up from the subconscious of humanity. So what I did was I put the twos together, and if you have a phone, I'm making it really big now, if you have a phone, you can hold the phone back, pause it here, and see you know, if you can see that. Now, now to me, this is very clear, even at this size. So what I did was I remove the space that broke the twos in half and then I removed the space that put the top half of the second two to the left of the bottom so they weren't fully in line. As I was looking at the twos, see what will happen is as you do that lifted vision as I call it and you just let your mind relax, suddenly I saw that there were three sets of letters. So what I saw was there was a letter here, it was very clear and it was a K. So here's the top of the K and then going down, here's the top of the second. Um, so the K has a straight line and then an angled, two angled lines. So the top angle of the K is very visible right here. 
And then what happens is it gets, there's a distortion pattern put over all this information. The distortion pattern makes it so that it's not obviously visible to the eye. So here's the first part of the K here. And then I saw an F. So the F was broken in half and slightly off center as well, just like the second two. Here's the base of the F, and then the top half of the F is off center here. Now I could see that there was a there was a third image. Okay, here's the top of the third letter, and then the line here. But between the distortion pattern around the two and the distortion pattern over the entire thing, I could not make out the third letter. So I saw this on the 20th, and I and what I felt was that the 22, this 22nd would be an important date. But I don't do things like predict dates, and so I just let it, I just, my intuition was not to publish it, so I didn't, like, I didn't have it together yet. What would I say about this? On the 22nd, I was paying attention to the energies, I was paying attention to the human, and I got it. The 22nd is the day that JFK passed, okay? I still was not able to, to make it very clear here. But you know what? I could, I can, now that, now that I realize that the, now that I realize, like, watch this, hold on one second, let me just do this right here. Yeah, see, there's the T. <laughs> Holy goodness. F, T, X, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, see, sorry. That's the other alternative letter for this. F, T, X, F, T, X, if I remove the K, okay, all right, then it's, well, part of that K was, anyway, part of that K was here, right, uh, uh, uh. okay, so there's F, T, X, and if I put the, hold on, I gotta get the K back, okay, now if I remove the X part <coughs> and the T part, it's JFK on the 22nd. Now, I don't have any conclusions here for you. I'm just saying that our subconscious, okay, has brought to the fore, this is how I'm interpreting it, the 22nd, JFK and FTX. And so what I'm saying here is that for some reason, okay, I have only seen this type of lettering two other times. One was about 9-11, and I did not publish that. Okay, I've never done a video on that. The second was on something I saw in October of last year. Um, one of my commenters helped me with it as well as my friend Alex in the interpretation. She was key because she's a, as trained as a biologist. It was a gene that was extremely important to talk about um, and this time it's FTX and JFK. So these are these are things that are like critical points in human consciousness where I've seen these um, letters and numbers on the chart. So what this tells me is there's a link between JFK, um, who is who is assassinated on November 22nd, and something about FTX. And, and I don't have any idea what that could be, but I'm just saying that this is what human consciousness, in my view, interpreting that, that it that way, and I'm gonna be the first to admit to you that this is a woo-woo interpretation, and it's, you know, it's a, it's artistry, okay? As opposed to my other four recent videos, which were very kind of analytical and science-y. And this is artistry. This is intuitive artistry. I've said before that I was in finance, and what I will tell you is that that intuition is a big part, or was. Okay, now the computers are such a big part of trading now, but but intuition for traders, especially when um, I had exposure to futures traders, futures traders, um, day trading. Yes, you look at the technicals, okay? But even the technicals from a scientific perspective, the quote unquote science of that is not, it's, it's developed itself into a quantitative science, but there, if you really look at how technicals are put together, it's not entirely scientific. But anyway, um, so, so um, you know, I used to literally hand plot charts, okay? When I, when I started out in finance, 
So I'm well versed in what what this is about. And in, in when I would make stock calls, okay, many times I had an intuitive sense long before I made the actual stock call. And sometimes there were stock calls I wanted to make, but I couldn't find the analytics to back it up. But my, but it would it would be right. Okay, and and when I found the analytics to put it to to back it up, that's when I would you know make a formal presentation. But our intuition in day to day life, our engagement with the non physical aspects of who we are as a species, I'm talking about humanity. This is so important to our ability to create, to our ability to express in the world. And in my view, it is meaningful. And one day, I have no doubt that all of this will become a science, okay? I really do believe that. And part of what I'm doing in my work, it might be early on in the whole stuff, but but in the whole thing, but my intention is to contribute to the ideas that make this a science, this, you know, interpretation of subconscious energy, the interpretation of the non-physical expressed by the human being. Um, and I realize that there are areas of science, and, and many of them are what I would call elite areas where this is not a big discussion, um, where, where it's not a big public discussion. But for example, remote viewing has come into the public view now and accepted as a science, as a process along with it. It's taught with very strict parameters now. They are 100% dealing with non-physical energy, um, but but they've really processized it, processized it, I call it, <laughs> where they've created a process that makes it more scientific because the results can be repeated time and again if you follow this process. Seeing these interesting numbers and letters on the chart give me an opportunity to talk about what I feel might be the quote-unquote science behind it how we could come to the conclusion that this is a valid analysis. In the meantime, this is my intuitive hit, that, that these, the, the recent event in the ecoin area has something to do with <laughs> JFK and what he was about, and I don't know why. But I present that to you as, hmm, isn't that interesting? It's an, you know what it is? It's an interesting story.